Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about if you by mistake or accidentally deleted the default VPC, then how we can recover the default VPC. Okay, guys. So whenever you are opening any AWS account in that particular account, each and every region there will be one default VPC, and in that particular default VPC, like uh, everything, like uh, like. Uh, like what I can say, internet gateway, like subnet, all the details will be the content. Okay, guys. So I am in the Oregon region in that AWS console. So let's go to the VPC dashboard and I will show you like uh, how we can identify that uh, the VPC is default or not. So let's go to the VPC. And if you go little bit right side of that VPC, you can see here one option is there like it's a default VPC or not. Yes, yes right. So each and every region will have one default VPC. Okay, guys, and what VPC will contain here? Like it will contain by default some subnet here, and it will contain the default route table, and it will contain the internet gateway, and it will have that elastic IP. No, this will not there, I guess. And we have to create them, and it will have network gateway. No, these things are we need to create. That is like in advanced level. But basic thing will be there, like uh, internet gateway, and route table, and subnet on the default VPC. For more details about the VPC, I have already demonstrated uh, this VPC in my previous session. So you guys can have a look that and uh, I will give that link to this video description so that it will help for to you guys. Okay guys. So let me show you that in, uh, here I have a total four subnet. If you are in the different region, right? Let me go to that uh, California. There will be that subnet will be the difference. Let me show you that. Here it is a two subnet, right? So that can be vary based on your which region you are. If you are in the Virginia, then there will be the six subnet. Okay, guys. So let me first give the highlight uh, like what the VPC is basically. VPC the stand for Virtual Private Cloud, which you can use for your own private. Uh, like uh, if you want to use your private network, then you can use the uh, like your own VPC so that you can able to create your own VPC and you can utilize it. Right? Okay. So let's show you like a, how we can recover the default VPC. So this is the VPC. So let me show you how we can delete. So suppose yeah, I deleted this VPC. Okay. So it will ask like confirmation. This subnet will get deleted. Then this uh, internet gateway will delete. So we need to say okay default VPC. Let's type here delete default VPC. It's kind of confirmation. Okay guys. So let's type this and delete. Now default VPC is deleted. Okay, guys. Now let's go to the subnet. It's no subnet. Now go to the route table. Refresh. There will be no route table. Let's go to the internet gateway. There is no internet gateway. Everything is deleted. Okay, guys. Now how we can recover this default VPC, right? So let's go to the VPC or VPC and go to the action. Here we have one option like create default VPC. Okay, guys. Once you have the default VPC, then this option will be disabled. See, other option is disabled, right? Let me show you that in other region. So let's go to the California. If you this is the default VPC already there, right? So create default VPC option will be not there. This option is disabled. But for this, uh, I have already deleted, right? If you go here, action in the VPC. Then the option is there create default VPC. Okay, let's click on that and then create default VPC. Then it will take care automatically all the subnet, internet gateway, route table, everything will create for you on behalf of you. You no need to worry about that. Let me show you that. Now subnet also came for subnet. Now let's go to the route table. The route table also came, internet gateway also came. So that's how we can recover our default VPC. If you accidentally deleted, then you can recover the default VPC. Okay, guys. I hope this session will be helpful to you guys and if you feel this video is valuable to you guys subscribe and share with your surrounding friends so that will really inspire to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Chalo, bye.